Hello all, welcome to IBM BPM tutorial. Today I am planning to show how to start a BPD from the REST API tester. That means your BPD can be accessed as a RESTful service. You can start BPD by using this REST API. So IBM is providing a REST API tester from this we can test that. Okay. So I can see this here. You can access this rep, REST API tester from uh, this is the URL. So HTTPS, your host name, port name, BPM, and the environment name, and uh, BPM REST UI. If it is you are in a local system, then you don't need to give this one. You can directly access from this. So I have cloud. Uh, access so I logged in with this so now we can see here is the list of provided APIs by IBM so by using this we can know about BPD details and BPD instance date activity details and task details so you can see here we can external activity services and what are the tasks, user groups, and saved search and custom searches, uh, process application settings, snapshot uh, history, uh, changes histories. Everything we will get it from the using this REST APIs. So now we am planning to show how we can start a BPD. Okay, let's see. I can get it here and uh, business process management REST APIs and it is a process related process APIs I want to start a process this is this one so this is going to be the first method I need to give the BPD ID which I want to start my BPD okay and this is the optional element but either we need to give branch ID snapshot ID or process application ID any one of this is required okay so I have BPD ID first of all I'm taking an example. This is my PPD ID, and I have Snapchat ID also. Take this two. I'm not passing any other element. These all are optional elements. Click on execute call. So here is status is 200 and you can see my request is this one so action is start bpd id is this is the id i passed and snapshot id which i passed and parts that means what are the data elements we need to get it that is all data elements of that process are getting you can see the result data is contained all the data related to the BPD that means my BPD has been started by using the REST API so I'm just going to show how the URL look like so the URL will be post and action will be string that is start BPD ID that is string snapshot ID branch ID process application ID parameters and parts and mode you can see here action is start because of we are going to start the BPD BPD ID the ID of the BPD which we want to start snapshot ID the BPD which contain in which snapshot of application that ID we need to get it we need to give it to in our request branch ID this is optional again so either we need to pass snapshot id or process id app id the process application id is the id of the process application and parameters the, our process bpd will contain the request response parameters so what is the request for my bpd that parameters we need to pass if you are not passing it will take as a null and parts it is the data elements which we want to retrieve so either you want to treat header elements uh, summary data uh, data model diagram so all these data 
whatever the specify those elements we can retrieve if it is defined all it will give entire data of the bpd and the mode here either you are running in a normal mode or debug mode so based on that whatever you give if you are going to give debug it will start your bpd as a debug mode the finally it will give the rest api will give these are the status codes 200 means it is a success and 400 it is a bad request parameter is not valid or missing if you are uh, getting 401 that is unauthorized and 404 that means the process does not exist and 406 not acceptable the requested content type or content encoded is not supported by this bpd so and 500 it is internal server any problems with the server related or uh, te uh, technical errors it will give as a 500 error that's it i hope it might be helpful for someone uh, thank you for watching this uh, video